So we've previously looked at doing things like adding days onto a, a carbon date. Uh, we've done things like minusing days, minusing weeks and things like that. But what if we want to modify the date in such a way that we want to go ahead and grab, say, the start of a particular day, regardless of which time we are currently on on that day, uh, the start of the week, uh, the start of the month, the end of the month and things like the end of the century or decade and everything uh, like this we can do within Carbon. So let's first of all go ahead and create our standard carbon instance here. Uh, in fact, what we could do is just go ahead and say carbon pars, or we could just say carbon now, actually, we can work with this. So let's do a var dump on C again. And you'll see we have the following. So we've got the current date and time. Now, at the moment, we're on the 15th of April. Um, but what we can do is we can say, well, I want to get this time but I want to get the start of this day or this date and time, but I want to get the start of the day. So what we can do with this is we can say start of day and then we can go ahead and refresh and we get just uh, the start of the day. This leaves us with the date. We can go ahead and get the end of the day, which gives us 23.59.59. And uh, we can also do things like start of week and end of week as well, which can be really useful. And the reason this is useful is if you're constructing uh, some kind of or, or constructing an application that deals with dates in such a way that you perhaps need to get the start of the week and then work out some kind of cost or price of something, then these modifiers uh, on our carbon object work really well to just modify lots of different things and then make comparisons between them, perhaps. And then eventually you can go ahead and format them or, you know, whatever you need to do. So, for example, the end of the week, let's go ahead and check this out. You can see that we're back on the night where well, we've come forward to the 19th now. And you can see that because it's the end of the week, we're getting the 23.59.59 again. And obviously there are things like the start of the week as well, like so. And we can obviously do things like the start of the year. There we go. So we've got the first of the first, which is obvious, and then uh, zero, zero, zero here for the uh, time. And there are even things like the start of the century, like so. So we've got 2000 here. And of course, we can also do end of the century as well, if we wanted to. Usually, though, you'd find yourself, if you were creating these dates to try and work out something in terms of uh, maybe pricing for something, you can go ahead and use things like start and end of the day and week and month. They're probably the more appropriate ones. So we're also going to go ahead and now look at doing a var dump. Let's go ahead and just var dump on C again so we can just pull this up and compare. And we're going to use the next method. And what this will give us is the next week, but on the same day. So that could be useful as well. So we could say something like next. And if we go ahead and just compare this date here, we're currently on the 15th. When we refresh, we get the 22nd. So that's just given us uh, the next week, but on the same day. So it's just next Wednesday. And what we can also do with this next method, if we go ahead and look inside of carbon, let's go ahead and pull up the next method. You can see here that we have an argument which is by default null and this is day of week. So what we can do is we can get the next day of the week. So for example, we could say next Wednesday, we could say next Tuesday, Monday, uh, whatever you want to do next Sunday. So I'm going to say I want the day next Friday. And when I go ahead and refresh, there we go. That is the date for next Friday, which is as I'm recording on a Wednesday in just two days time. Now you might be thinking, well, what if I want to get the previous week? Well, that's easy. We just use the previous and there we go. So we get the day here for the previous Friday. So that's it for modifiers. You can obviously use these in conjunction with any other methods as with the carbon library and just build up the functionality that you need to work with dates in this time. These are really useful.